Hey guys, this is Mohan Pober and today we're going to talk about where can you find your ideal clients? Then this is part two. Let's get to it. So, hey, if you're new to this channel, I've been involved in more than 10 businesses, 10 different seven figure businesses. And I'm here to share my lessons, my experiences, things that worked for me and things that didn't work for me. And I'm also here to share with you not just regular, uh, I guess, advice about business, but many things that only big corporate companies are using that you can use in your small business as well. So things like, so there's two ways to grow a business. One of them is an organic way and the other way is growing by acquisitions. And we're going to talk a lot about that versus growing organically. I'm sh going to share with you both, I guess, perspectives and give you two options. And, and I guess based on someone who is involved a lot in the acquisition space in the last few years, but also give you the view of someone who was involved a lot in the organic ways of things. So if you're watching this on video, on YouTube, sorry, please like, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think or if you have questions moving forward. Um, otherwise, see the links in the description below also if you're on YouTube. There's a link for you to join. And also, if you're watching it on other platform, I'll put the link to the group somewhere else. But we have a free uh, mastermind where you can go and we share tips on how to double your business using both of those ways, so organic ways and growing by acquisition. So if you want to learn more about that, see the links in the description below. Uh, but that's it for the introduction. Let's get to today's topic. So, and if you didn't watch my last video, go and watch the first video. We're talking all about why you don't want to cheat to, to change between target markets in your business many times. And ideally you want to focus on just one. Today, I want to talk about another thing. And again, getting clients is so important. And your ideal clients, it's probably one of the most important things for your business. Because if you're not bringing new clients, it's really hard to sustain some kind of revenues if you're only selling to your existing clients. Obviously, it depends on your business. But in the end of the day, you need clients. If they're new clients or existing clients who pay you again and again and again, right? But if you don't have clients, you don't have revenues. If you don't have revenues, you'll eventually won't have cash flow. And if you don't have cash flow, you basically eventually have no business, right? So that's why getting clients probably the most important thing to do in business. So getting sales and bringing money into your business, right? And many people ask me all the time, where do I find those ideal clients? And what do I do to get those clients to the door and to get them to, to go through my sales funnel and talk to my salespeople and get them to, to buy my products and everything. Everyone thinks it's about this strategy or that strategy. And I'm here to basically bust those myths because I really do believe that it's about different things. It's more about seeing things in a much broad, high level things. And today I'm going to talk about kind of like the second lesson, which is it's less about where you find those clients and it's more about your mindset. So let's expand more on that. Now, if you're a business owner, probably the first thing you want to tell me is what the fuck is even talking about mindset issues? I don't have mindset issues. I read all the books. I went to seminars. I don't have those issues. And I'm here to tell you that if you, that's the first thought that comes up to your mind, you probably need the, the most amount of mindset work, like literally. And I thought the same, like I was always like, yeah, I know all the Tony Robbins stuff, I know all the other spiritual stuff, I've read all the books, I don't have a problem. But I'm here to tell you that if you, whatever level you're at in business, you're always going to have a next level mindset issues. Because business is like a mirror, that's how I see a business. Business is literally like having a mirror in front of you, where the business problems are basically going to reflect on your personal problems. So any business problem that you see out there, I really believe that it's a reflection of your personal problems, of your internal issues, if that makes sense. And unless you figure out those problems, the problems outside are going to still be there. And it really comes down to your beliefs and certainty, because if you don't believe 100% in what you have to offer in your product, in your service, and many times those beliefs are subconscious, in your subconscious, and maybe you think, like in the outside, you're saying, yeah, my, my product is the best, but in your subconscious, you really don't think that you're providing enough value. And when you have that uncertainty, it's going to be reflected outside. Even when you're doing sales calls or your people are doing sales calls and you just train them in your advertising uh, platforms, even when you try to get referrals, like all of those subconscious issues are going to be reflected outside. And the problem with most of most entrepreneurs who start a business, they feel like they need to do everything in their business and they feel like if not them, no one else can do that. And that's why I think many times um, a business owner who started a business isn't necessarily the person who is the best to run the day-to-day -day and operate it. And it, it just really frustrating to see that people think that they can do everything and then 
they're, they're just instead of being master at their best thing they, they just want to be master or be average at everything else if that makes sense so if you're good at sales or you're good at marketing or you're good at financing or at operations don't try to be average at all you want to be master in one thing and then find other people to basically be master at all the other things that are related to your business growth and it sucks because most people out there will tell you go and focus on your weaknesses and and try to become better at financing if you don't have any clue about that or or be a master that i'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying you don't need at least basics you do need basics but to become a master at something that you're just not passionate about it's not worth it and everyone else will tell you, yeah you go and learn all the courses that you can and try to become master at everything and it's my opinion it's not the right thing to do in my opinion the best thing you can do is focus on your best thing and it's about making a decision in, in the end of the day what is your goal with your business do you want to be an owner manager an operator someone who's running the day-to-day -day? or do you want to be an owner investor or a shareholder or a chairman someone who's only involved and responsible for the vision and high level thinking in the business and if that's the case you have few options one of them is hire obviously someone to take over the operator the the, the manager role um, what i found that is many people just don't have that capital to pay 100,000 or 200,000 salary for someone like that so your next best option if you can do it organically is go and find a business and buy a business with a manager who's running that day-to-day -day already and what you can do is basically buy their business and have that manager run your business too so you can basically step back and become the owner shareholder or chairman and then you basically still get all the benefits of being a business owner you're still the shareholder you can take a salary or a dividends or whatever obviously depends on what you what you want and your tax situation and all that but then you can also basically get your lifestyle back and only do things that you are the best at so if you're the best at marketing you can only focus on that or if you don't want to be involved in the day-to-day -day at all you can guess you can just step back and just decide on the high level decisions or maybe you can just go out there and maybe raise more capital or go and maybe look for other businesses to buy i think that's in order to really grow i think those are the best things you can do go and get capital and go and get deal flow for businesses you can buy because you can grow so much faster and and like i said in my other videos you don't need a lot of money to buy a business it will cost you literally many times less money than it is to hire someone good and when you buy a business you pay for the business you bring in revenues from that business that you're buying and you're also buying great talent and that's something that people don't take into consideration when they're thinking if they want to grow organically or grow by acquisition so um, to, to summarize this guys it's all it all comes back to your mindset and if you have mindset issues it's going to reflect outside and then just think about your goals where do you want to see yourself in business and if you want to see yourself as a shareholder consider growing by acquisitions and buying someone who can take over your role so if you want to explore if growing by acquisitions is a fit for your business you can go to moanpober.com forward slash talk me and my partners were involved in more than 300 deals like that and we can help you and show you the process and tell you if growing by acquisition can fit you or not and if it's it is we will tell you how we can help you and work with you and if it's not we will hopefully send you to someone else who can help you in different ways so go and do that and if you're watching this on youtube see the links in the description below and join our free group if you didn't yet it's a free uh basically mastermind on how to double your business not just doing regular organic ways but also exploring different ways it's only for existing business owners so you can go in and check that right now and yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed it like subscribe comment below let me know what you think and yeah i'll see you soon